I'm Dr. Mahucci from the Eye Clinic of Florida. If you've had a trabeculectomy, there's some very important instructions you need to follow afterwards. Sometimes we'll tell you to do an ocular massage. The, way, the reason why we do it is so that the trap door that's created in the top of the eye can release some fluid. So it's really important the technique of how you do it determines the success. And doing it wrong can lead to failure of the surgery. So let's go over the steps. The first thing you'll do is, while looking straight ahead, is take a finger and go on your lower eyelid, not on your cheek, not on your upper eyelid, don't close your eye, just touching the lower eyelid where you can feel the eyeball just behind it. You'll push backwards until you see double. So it's just a soft push and you'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you'll stop, give it a break, and you'll do it again, counting to ten. And you'll do that a couple of times a day, depending on what I tell you during the instructions. The point is, is when you push on the lower eyelid, the little valve at the top of the eye will then release some fluid. So the technique of doing it is to push from the bottom of the eye so that fluid goes out the valve that we've created or the little trap door that we've created at the top of the eye. If you push on the top of the eye, fluid won't be going anywhere. You're pushing on the valve and that can actually make the surgery fail and make your pressure go up. So don't do that. There's a technique. It's the lower eyelid, not the upper eyelid for the massages. Make sure you follow those instructions. So let's go over the ways to do it wrong. The most important way to do it wrong, don't do it this way, is to push at the top of the eyelid. That doesn't work. The second way is to push on your eye like you're dribbling a basketball. That's not the point. The point is to push just to the point where you're seeing double or just with the mild pressure on the eye, not really firm, and you're counting to 10, not dribbling a ball. Don't put your finger in the middle. Don't close the eyelid. That's, those are things that can make the surgery fail. So that's how to do it wrong.